German immigrants founded Stoll Cemetery in the 1850s, which has been a hub for paranormal activity. The property's outrageous reputation includes everything from sacrificial rituals and occult practices to ghost and demon sightings. Even the devil himself schedules biannual visits. In this video, we will discuss the creepy gate to the underworld. The video will be amazing, so stick to the end. Before starting the video, smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. It appears that a murder in the middle of the 1800s is when paranormal events first began. A Kansas City Times article claims a stable hand took out the mayor to death in the cemetery's old stone barn. Years later, the barn was converted into a church, which in turn was gutted by fire. A decaying wooden cross that still hangs from one wall is thought to sometimes turn upside down when passers-by step into the building at midnight. It would appear that this occurs when a church is constructed on top of the entrance to Satan's lair. However, it is essential to point out that Stoll has never had an official mayor. Nevertheless, these rumors are not created out of thin air. Most of them are connected to a sizable tree on the property and the enigmatic church, which some witnesses claim to have witnessed on fire. Hell most certainly does not lack fire. The tall pine tree was said to have been used in the execution of condemned witches, including Satan's lover, according to the legend. This took place on the day of the spring equinox, a culling of sorts. Until 1998, when caretakers cut it down, the tree continued to be revered by modern covens when they paid their respects at the cemetery. In addition to being the most sinister cemetery in all of the United States, Stoll Cemetery is also the entrance to Satan's domain. It is believed that the church on the property transformed into a real portal to hell. However, the church itself was not always evil. The church was constructed in 1867 and put to use for religious services, just as one might anticipate. Unfortunately, fewer people attended as time passed, and in 1922 it was discontinued. In the years leading up to the practices outlawing in 1988, hundreds of people would congregate at Stoll Cemetery to witness the ascent of the devil from the depths of hell. According to the urban myth, Satan visits the witch who raised his offspring at the cemetery on Halloween and the vernal equinox once every year. Unfortunately, Satan's child only lived for a few short days after birth. It has been said that he was laid to rest close to his mother and that his ghost, which resembles a werewolf, can sometimes be seen roaming the area. In 1988, over 500 people gathered at the cemetery, hoping for a no-show devil. They wreaked so much damage to the property that officers patrolled the grounds each Halloween. If you're hoping to catch a glimpse on All Hallows' Eve, prepare to get slapped with a $1,000 fine and six months in the clink. It could be that several coincidences made Stull Cemetery the perfect storm for dark and devilish rumors, or they aren't coincidences at all. Either way, the property has several highly suspicious features. Because, let's be honest, where else would Satan live if not in the charred remains of an old church in Topeka with a zip code of 666? According to legend, the road leading up to the cemetery was Devil's Way until 1905. If we are to believe that Satan comes back twice a year to visit his baby mama witch, then the nearby gravestone that reads Wittich, which is almost spelled out as witch, should serve as a significant warning. Since the 1920s, the church in Stull Cemetery had been devoid of its roof before it was demolished. The entire interior of the church was at risk of flooding whenever it rained due to the absence of a roof. However, strangely enough, it never actually flooded at any point in time. It wasn't even wet. The urban legend asserts that hundreds of witnesses stated that the church's interior remained dry despite the outside rain. The church and cemetery were surrounded by falling debris, but the structure was spared. Even though it rained, the ground was bone dry. People believe the church was destroyed because it was thought to have been evil for several different reasons. Nobody knows who destroyed the building with a bulldozer. Already, the church was tumbling down. It suffered a fire and lost its roof. The old stone wall of the abandoned structure was damaged by lighting. It was severely vandalized, and the locals even removed a collapsed wall out of concern that visitors might be hurt by falling to bris. It wasn't demolished until 2002. The storied past of Stoll Cemetery has finally reached the general public thanks to Sido's Supernatural. In the Season 5 episode, Swan Song, the church and adjacent cemetery on Emmanuel Hill serve as the setting for Michael and Lucifer's decisive conflict. In the first episode of Season 6, when Sam Winchester is revived and awakens in the infamous graveyard, it is mentioned again. In the Season 11 episode, The Devil in the Details, 
where Lucifer takes Sam on a trip down memory lane, the cemetery makes its final appearance. This was all for today. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay safe, and we will be right back soon with another video. For more information, subscribe and watch other videos from our channel.